All right, everybody, so go to studio. Let's click on a new session. And we are going to create a 16 bar pattern using the following instruments. Okay, kick, snare, synth one, guitar, and bass. Okay, you can use any genre you want to, but I do not want to do drum patterns today. I want to split out the kick and the snare separately. Okay, so when we do start from scratch, make sure that when you look at your, your kicks, you have, uh, where is it, kick, very specific here, and then snare, very specific. Okay, you can pick whatever patterns you want to, obviously any genre, but I want to split out the kick and snare separately today. Cool? So I'm going to give you about 15 minutes to work on a 16-bar pattern of something that you like, and then we'll go on to today's lesson. All right, everybody take your headphones off for a second. Let's take a look up here and see what's going on. So today we're going to talk about automation. And the way we're going to do that is over here. So let's start off with this really cool synth thing. Okay. If we look at this squiggly line right here, where it says automation, if we click that, it's going to give us some different options for the automation parameters that we can change. So right now it says volume. If we click on here, it says panning. Okay. If we were to add effects into this, we can also change effects over time, which is kind of cool. But right now, let's just work with volume. So what I want this thing to do is I want it to build up over eight measures, and then I want it to go back down over eight measures. So when we see this little red dot right here, these are called keyframes. So I can install a keyframe by clicking on it, okay? And that's going to say, at this particular point in time, I want that value to be this value. At the start, I want the value to be, say, 0, okay? I want it to go to its maximum over here, and then I'll add a third keyframe down the end and say, I want it to gradually ramp down to be this particular point, okay? So if we were to play this over the whole entire time, Here, gradually getting louder. And then it's going to go down. Okay, so not super exciting. But what this could be is really exciting if you want to drop that down and say r ramp it up for one of your crescendos or decrescendos, or which is also kind of cool. We can do this with panning and really make this be funky. So if we want, we can click on these again to get rid of them. And that kind of just gets rid of all these dots and stuff like that. No, that one doesn't want to go away. Okay. Once you start drawing automation, by the way, these do not work anymore. Okay. The automation takes over. Even if you have a dot at the very beginning, that's it. Okay. You have to start drawing your automation. But where it really comes into cool uh, places is panning. So for panning, center is right in the middle. And if we want to say we can zoom in by clicking on the timeline and just dragging it down so we can zoom in a little bit more. Say we want this to like kind of be funky and go from left to right hand side. So I'm going to say we'll start this on the left. And then once it gets to here, I need to do a second point so that it goes immediately to the right. And then if I want to go to the left, and then go immediately to the right. Now, if I just put this point down here, it's going to ramp it to the right. I need to put a second point right next to it, which it doesn't want to do right now, so that it's now going to go pop, 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 da 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 pop, da da Or we can have it ramp all the way across too. And it just adds a whole new layer to things, okay? What we can also do on this is make long ramps so that it changes over time as well. So, cool. So, you have, we're going to give you a lot of time to work on this in class. Um, and I'll start going over some other effects as well. But basically, volume animation, panning animation, and add some effects in there. Start going nuts. 
okay? You can also add some other instruments, and if you do want to add some other drums to it, that's okay, but push them back. I really want that kick and snare being more upfront.